Hi guys, I Aziz welcome you to Codemaster and in this video I am going to talk about path interface. I will explain what are the different ways to create object of path interface. So make sure to watch this video till the end. So let's get started. Alright guys, let's begin this video. So first of all, let me tell you what is path. So path represents a path of a folder or directory from the root of your file system up to the specific files and folder. And path usually composed of a sequence of folders and file name separated by delimiter. So for example, this is a path slash src slash tmp slash main dot java, right? You can see that this path composed of a sequence of folders and the file and all of these parts are separated by a separator that is slash. Okay. So I hope now you understand what path is. Now let's go to path interface. So let's type path and this path interface belongs to java.nio.file package, right? Let's give it a name path and let's go to path source code. So you will see that path is an interface and this interface has one default method off right and this off method returns the object of path so what this method is doing this method is using a get default method of file systems class to give us an object of path okay so let's use path dot off method now you can see that there are two variation of this method first variation takes uri as argument and second variation is taking strings as argument and we can pass one or more string to this method. So let's call off and let's give it some strings. So first string is going to be dot slash. This corresponds to the current folder and then give it src. Then give it temp and then call resolve method. And this resolve method takes a string. Okay. And this string is essentially the name of the file. So let's call it hello.txt. Let's print this path on the screen. Path. Let's run the program. So you can see that the path is printed on the screen. So guys, this is the first way of creating a path object in Java by providing the parts of a path in a form of strings. Okay. Now do not get confused with the resolve method. Resolve method is not resolving here, but this method simply returning the reference of this file. Okay. So that it should be attached with these given strings. Now you might be thinking that without having file, how can I am able to create a path of that file? So guys path doesn't mean that file actually exists. It is just a reference of a file to be created or to be accessed, right? That is why we are able to create a path of a given file. Now let's see the next way to create a path. So let's write path, give it a name path one. Okay. Let's give it path one and give this path as path two. Okay. Is equal to path dot off. Okay. Now we can pass the first string as dot slash. And this corresponds to the current folder and the current folder of this project is demo, right? The next string is going to be src. The next string is going to be tmp. Now this time we are not going to use resolve method. Instead, we are simply pass the name of the file with extension into, into this off method, right? Now let's print this path two on the screen. Path two run the program you can see that still we are getting the exact same result okay so we can also avoid using the resolve method okay this is the second way of creating path object in java now let me show you the third way of creating path object in java let's call it path give it a path 3 is equal to path dot off method okay now this time instead of giving all the parts separately in different strings we can pass the entire string at once so let's give it dot slash src slash tmp slash 
hello dot txt okay let's print this path on the screen path 3 run the program and you will see that again we are getting exact same result okay that is src temp hello dot text now guys it may be possible that some of you are working on windows operating system so in windows operating system you can give path like this path dot off you can give like this c colon colon c colon then src slash tmp slash hello hello dot txt let's print this on the screen path 4 run the program and you can see that we are getting exact same path so guys it doesn't matter on which operating system you are working this path object is smart enough to give you the exact path based on the current operating system you are working on okay so you can use the path object on linux windows or mac os seamlessly so guys these are the different ways of creating path object in java now i will show you some of the method of path object that we can use to get the relative and the absolute path of the file so for example let's create a path first and remove this resolve method from here so you can see here that we have demo folder inside of this folder we have a source folder and inside of this source folder we have main.java file so let's create a path corresponds to this file okay let's write src slash main dot java okay so this is our path now what if i want to find that whether the given path is relative or absolute so we can call path dot is absolute method so let's run the program and this method is returning false because this is not a absolute path this is a relative path now what if i want to get absolute path of this path so in that case we can call path dot to absolute path this method simply converts the relative path into absolute path let's run the program and you will see that this is the absolute path of the given relative path but guys there is one problem in this absolute path you can see over here that this path contains dot here and we want to remove this dot from this path so what do we do so we can use path dot normalize and then we can call to absolute path method run the program and now you will see that the dot is removed and we got the absolute path of main dot java file okay now guys the next question is what if i want to find the relative path to this folder aziz in that case we can call path dot off okay let's give it a url slash user slash aziz then we can call relativize and give it a absolute path okay so let's give it path dot normalize dot absolute path now let's run the program and now you can see that we got the path that is relative to users dot aziz path okay so these are some of the most commonly used methods that we can call on path object like is absolute to check the given path is absolute or not if it is not absolute then you can call to absolute path method to get the absolute path of relative path then if the absolute path contains dot then you can use the normalize method to remove that dot and get the clean absolute path okay and finally if you want to find a relative path to some folder from the absolute path then you can use path of give it a give it a relative path and convert the absolute path into relative path so guys these are all about the path interface and the path object in next video we will see how to create a temporary directory temporary file and normal directory and normal file so this is all from my side if you learned something valuable from this video then hit the like button in order to make youtube algorithm happy please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click the bell icon so my friend you never miss any upcoming videos thanks for watching see you in the next one Thank you.